You know, when we look back on our lives, it's, our lives are really just a, a series of things that seem like good ideas. That's the way we do it. We look at something, seems like a good idea, and we do it. Now, now sometimes we look back and, and, and we see our, some of our choices weren't that great. You know, it's like some of you look back at your, your high school, your college age pictures. Some of the clothes, the hairstyles, not such a good idea. <laughs> and you know, kids today, they'll be doing the same thing. You know, they're going to look back at their pictures, you know, when they had, you know, 45 pieces of metal in their face and <laughs> decided to walk by that magnet. <laughs> not a good idea. No. They're going to look back and, you know, wonder, what? what? Why did I buy pants the size that a family of four could fit into? And then wear my underwear up to my armpits? Why did that seem like a good idea? Now there's a lot of things that are, are really, you know, not that big a deal. Trivial things that, that you know, little funky choices that we make. But, uh, but there are some choices that are absolutely crucial. I had a, a single dad and his little girl that lived with me for, uh, for several years when I was single. And, uh, you know, that guy, he, it was just such a blessing to have he and his little girl growing up in my house. And, and, you know, he made a decision along with his, at that time, ex-girlfriend about whether or not to have little Shannon. And uh, he made a good choice. It was hard. And I watched all the, the difficulties that they went through. And, you know, it, it's not easy, but oh, oh, it's so worth it. So worth it. That was a good idea. A good choice. You know. My wife and I, uh, leading up to our marriage, uh, we, we were abstinent the entire time that, that we dated. You know. uh, unfortunately, about a week after being married to me, my wife decided abstinence was a good idea again. Um, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, just kidding. It was, it was, it was probably two weeks. Um, We make choices that are, uh, that are crucial sometimes. And that's really what we're, what we're about tonight. In a, in a few moments, you're going to be asked to, to open your wallets and make a choice to, uh, to help some people that are facing crucial choices in their life. Crucial choices in their lives. They need your help. When I, when I heard uh, you know, Sarah come up here and say they, they serve 800 to 1,300 every year, is that right? Is that just unbelievable in this area that there's that many people in need? Uh, what a fantastic ministry this is. What a blessing to the heart of God, the loving heart of God. And in a moment, you know, you're going to choose, and I know many of you have chosen many times to help out as we've seen. We've celebrated the, the volunteers, the leadership, and the lives that have been saved. 19 years you guys have been doing this. There are people walking around right now changing our world because of you. That is so awesome, and I, I find it, it's just, I count it a privilege to be here tonight. So uh, I'm going to finish with one more song that is a tribute to those of you that have been faithful, and uh, for those of you that are kind of contemplating where to, where to jump on board here, this song, uh, I hope it will be an encouragement to you. I actually wrote this song after uh, being on the phone with Sarah, and uh, I was so inspired by her, uh, I put this one down, and so this is for you. <laughs> 